Hey, all right, class. Hey, uh, sorry that you can't get here because we're all on a lockdown, but um, I'm hoping I can show you guys something so you guys can um, participate, kind of. Now, today what I'm going to do is that I'm going to look at, the, you know those uh, big old mosquito looking things? They're not actually mosquitoes. They're called crane flies. Uh, we're having their kind of larvae so that eat the grass or something like that, and then now they're coming out to give, uh, you no, know, baby, make babies or something like that. Now, the thing is, that's what they kind of look like, okay? So I got a bag of it like that, and I'm zoom in so you guys can kind of see it. It kind of looked like a mosquito, but it's not. Okay? Now, what, now what I've done is that I mounted it onto the SEM. Now, the thing is that uh, later on, I'll, show, I'll, I'll remind you guys how to put the thing back on the, in the sample. I've already loaded it on the uh, microscope to try to bypass five minutes of going up time. Now, remember the screen right there? That's what it kind of looks like. So what happens, a crane fly, I go coated it as we normally do. See, there's its, uh, there's its eye, there's a body, there's a wing piece right there, there's what they call the thorax, and then there's a mouthpiece. This is a little bit different from the mosquito, okay? So anyway, um, what we do is that, uh, let's, go, let's go over here and let's uh, remind ourselves how to do this thing. So what happens, I've already mounted the sample in. Yeah. I already mounted the sample in. I'll show you guys how to do that in a, in a, in a slightly different clip, okay? Now what happened is that, what's the first thing we need to do? Coming over here. First thing we want to do is go to setting, go to label, and what you do is that this one will say crane fly, okay? So crane fly. And then so this is MNT, it's MNT, and then say, okay. Now, next thing, want to get into, um, I'm going to get into a high resolution. Well, actually, I'm going to do the all materials first because I don't want to burn the sample. So it goes like that. So therefore, crane fly, it's at 5,000 volt, okay? Now what I'm going to do is that uh, go back to uh, image. Now what's the next thing? Map it. So therefore, you see the crane fly. Now let's map it. Just want you guys to uh, you know, keep uh, fresh with this thing. And I'll send you guys a simulation later, okay? On something else. All right, so we got that. And what we do is let's go and um, look at the eye, okay? So I'm gonna point at the eye, so kind of zoom in. Now, what's the next thing? Context picture. So in that case, what you wanna do is that uh, click. Now take a picture of the context where we are. And then after, we'll take the optical microscope picture, okay? I'll leave it at 20X, because you can see the eye kind of, yeah? And the mouthpiece is right there. So in that case, we'll take a picture of that. I already kind of uh, focused it. So take a picture of that. Okay, now the thing is that it normally takes about five minutes, but I already waited the five minutes already. Now, remember here, that tells you that the SEM is ready as well as the optical microscope, okay? So remember, taking picture, SEM, optical microscope, magnification, brightness, a contrast and focus. Okay, so let's go in. Oh, by the way, uh, we'll go in, okay? So click there. Now, listen to the sound. Remember, that's the microscope talking to you, yes? So those are the normal sounds for the uh, Phenom Pro X. Now we gotta wait the boss say five, 10 seconds to make sure that the, all the vacuum's taken off, and then guess what? Oh, there it is, the, uh, the, electron, the electron gun turn on. And there we go. So there's the antenna, there is eye, there's his head, and then we'll go to the mouthpiece in the bed. Now, what do we do? Click on it, and then what do we do? Let's, uh, this looks like a nice picture, huh? So in that case, look, it's a hairy bugger. So in that case, let's go ahead and take, uh, let's, I'm gonna focus, uh, find focus it just a little bit. Make sure it's best focus. So what you do is concentrate on one of the lines and make sure that it's the finest, okay? Now take a picture. Okay, that's a, that's a weird magnification, okay? That's, normally you don't wanna do that. But that's the lowest it can get, okay? So in that case, let's point at this thing and we're gonna zoom in. And, oh, look at that. It's about a circular thing. And then what we're going to do is that the first thing is that we're going to uh, change the contrast a little bit. And then what we do is that 
See, it says about 400 something. Let's go to 500, okay? Let's see. Oh, okay. Click on it. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is that let's go and focus in. You wag it back and forth. And, oh, that looks pretty good, huh? Actually, no, about right there. Okay, right there. Now, click on it, fine. Now, what you then do is, okay, turn it either way, wag it, and make it the sharpest. So, it's concentrate on one of the lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to concentrate on it. I'm going to bring up the contrast just a little bit. Oh, okay, that's a little bit too bright. Okay, in that case, here we go. Focus. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then, of course, what you may want to do is make this one a little bit darker. Yeah, so you can see better. All right, so there it is. Now, I'm going to do is as 500x. Let's check a picture, y'all. Yeah? And, of course, remember it's stacking, so therefore the thing will look much more clear once we do that. Okay, now what happened is that, remember what Dr. Ramakrishna says about packing? Six on one, take a look. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, okay? So in that case, let's bring it up to about, say, uh, well, okay, 1250, 1500 is pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to do is that, uh, let's focus. I'm good, huh? There we go. Ooh, yeah, they look hexagonal, yeah? And then what you then do is find focus. And then what you want to do is take a picture, yes? Pretty cool, huh? One with six around it, well, it's a circle. So hexagon is a good packing thing, yeah? So that's what it looks like at uh, 1500. Now I'm gonna do is that, let's bring it up much closer. Okay, so go to 5000X. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit more. Whoa, see so if we can get some more details. That's 8500, that's pretty good. All right, let's find focus a little bit. See if we can see textures. Now, here's the thing. We won't see much texture because the thing is that this is 5,000 volts. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna switch over, okay? To uh, Actually, we'll come back to this thing. Um, okay, take a picture. Now, let's go to the mouthpiece. Okay, so what's the strategy? Zoom out. Okay, and then what happened is this. Okay, that gives you a thing, but I think it's out of range. So the mouthpiece is over here somewhere. So in that case, well... Ah, okay, so there's this mouthpiece. All right, so this is the mouthpiece for a uh, crane fly. Now, if it was a... Ah, uh, darn it, okay, what's going on here? Okay, the, it's misbehaving. There it is. Okay, the mouse is a little screwy. Can't move it. Oh, well. Looks like intercession at this point. The uh, mouse is acting a little strange. Well, actually, you know... Yeah, it's acting a little strange. Wait, what do we do with this? Uh, we'll do is this. I'm going to take a picture of that. Uh, actually, I can't. So, uh, anyway, you see it. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get off right now, okay? Bye. All right, class. Look like uh, the mouse. Oh, the mouse has unfroze itself. Good, good, good. All right, so therefore, this is the mouthpiece for a um, crane fly. See, if it's a mosquito, they'll be in a very sharp, what they call uh, uh, proboscis or something like that. I'm not a biologist. That's a, sucky, a blood sucking mouthpiece, but this is not. So, therefore, that's how you can tell that this is a crane fly, and that's a mouthpiece right there. Now, what we can do is that uh, zoom in. Oh, it's a hairy bugger. Look at that. So, therefore, it has a pincher instead of a needle like structure, okay? So. Okay, so therefore you can see the fine hair on this thing. So let's go ahead and take a picture of this thing. So what, I, what happened was this. I fixed it with uh, doing a mouse touching. The thing is that normally you don't want to touch the screen because after a while you get smudges. All right, so therefore that's our mouthpiece. Now what I'm going to do is this. Let's go and explore a little bit more on other stuff. Okay, so got it out. And let's look at that guy's antenna. Ooh, okay. Okay, there's the, there's a couple of antennas right there. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, let's see the look at the tip of that thing. All right, so therefore, let me focus on this thing. Man, I wish I would. I wish you guys were with me. This would have been fun. All right, so there's the antenna like that. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture. Now, what I'm going to do is this. 
I'm gonna switch over to high resolution, okay? It's gonna see things a little bit better. Okay, so okay, how do you do that? Go to high res, 10,000 volts. And then what you do is go back to image and remember it'll phase off. And then they'll come back on and then we've got to play with the contrast some. So the thing is that there's the contrast, lower the contrast some because you're looking into the sun sort of. Now, okay, let's go over here. There's the tip of the thing, and what we're gonna do is that we'll make height, we'll increase the magnification. There. And then what we're gonna do is that the next thing is to go and focus on this thing. This is 500 so I can do core, so, ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, so therefore there's like that. And then fine, and then, yeah. Okay, so there's the tip of the antenna. Let's take a picture, uh, let's get it to some round figure uh, say 700 so okay that looks pretty damn good yeah take a picture and see there's a lot of holes and stuff in it now what we do is let's focus in here and see how fine those hairs are okay could not have done that with the um with the uh, five th with the 5000 volts so therefore you want to see higher magnification and what happens we're going to let's go 6000 Ooh, look at this sharp one. Yeah. Okay. There. That's not bad. Okay. Let's go to higher magnification. We'll go to around, say, 10,000. Okay. So 10,000. Oh, that's 12. Okay. Let's got to be careful because we don't want to burn the sample. Ah, good enough. Okay. Let's go to the tip. And let's focus in. There it is. Okay, take a picture. So you guys are kind of uh, living vicariously through me at this point. I wish you guys were with me. This would have been fun. Uh-oh, something went a little screwy. Okay. I asked it to demagnify. Okay, very good. Did a hiccup. All right, anyway. I think this is about good for now. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that they'll be able to get us back in, and I'm gonna let you guys play with this thing again. Okay. All right. So, say goodbye to the crane fly. Oh, actually, let's do this. I promise that we go in, right? So, zoom in. Uh, let's see. Focus. Okay. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Say, while I'm doing this thing right here, my wife is over there videotaping. So, you know, brought to you by my wife. Okay, let's get to, to like this. And then let's focus. Pretty damn good, huh? Okay. Okay, so looks like we're not seeing much texture here. Just pretty clean. Oh, but I gotta get away because it's gonna burn the sample soon. Okay, here we go. Here's a picture. All right, guys. Hope hope to see you guys soon. All right, later. Sanya.